Good morning, students! As continuation for our health subject, I have here new topic. Are you ready? Very good! Our topic this morning is all about medicine misuse and abuse. Again, medicine misuse and abuse with a learning target describes the potential dangers associated with medicine misuse and abuse. Today, you will learn what is medicine and what are the potential effects caused by medicine's misuse and abuse. Are you ready? Very good! So, let's start! Before anything else, I will discuss first the definition about drugs. Drugs are chemicals that change the way a person's body works. Some are legal, like medicines prescribed by doctors or sold in stores. For adults, cigarettes and alcohol are legal drugs. But cigarettes and alcohol are illegal for kids. It is also illegal and dangerous for kids to abuse medicines or use drugs like marijuana or cocaine. Misuse or abuse of medicine has something to do with the individual's intentions or motivations when using or taking medicines. For now, these are the most commonly abused prescribed drugs that falls into three categories. First, we have painkiller or analgesic are drugs that are used to release pain like paracetamol, commonly used for kids with fever. An analgesic is any member of the group of drugs used to achieve analgesia, relief from pain. Analgesic drugs act in various ways on the peripheral and central nervous systems. They are distinct from anesthetics which temporarily affect and in some instances completely eliminate sensation. Second is the stimulants, are drugs that stimulate the central nervous system into working faster. Taking these drugs makes the heart beat faster, your blood pressure goes higher, and it makes it hard for you to go to sleep. The body is so busy that it sometimes makes you forget to feel hungry. These drugs include caffeine, nicotine, amphetamines, cocaine, ecstasy, and others. Number three, we have depressants. Are drugs that have opposite effect to stimulants. They slow down the central nervous system. This makes sure your heart beats slower, breathing gets slower, blood pressure goes down, and the body may feel relaxed. These drugs include alcohol, tranquilizers, inhalants, and solvents like glue. These are some medical vocabularies that sometimes tend to misunderstood. First, self-medication. There are times when a person out of desperation would resort to self-medication. It refers to the treatment of common health problems with medicines, specially designed and labeled for use without medical supervision and approved as safe and effective for such use. Consumers are taking a more active role in their health care, even through self-medication. The risks that are associated with self-medication includes First, inaccurate diagnosis. Second, using inappropriate medications that cause side effects. Third, masking the symptoms of a serious condition. Fourth, delaying medical advice. Fifth, inaccurate dosage that leads to accidental overdose. Number two, we have drug overdose. Overdoses of drugs or chemicals can be either accidental or intentional. Drug overdoses or which a person takes more than the medically recommended dose. However, some people may be more sensitive to certain medications so that the high end of the therapeutic range of a drug may be toxic for them. Young children 
may swallow drugs by accident because of their curiosity about the medications that they may find. Children younger than 5 years tend to place everything they find into their mouths. Drug overdoses in this age group are generally caused when someone accidentally leaves a medication within the child's reach. Therefore, if you suspect an overdose in one child while other children are around, those other children may have taken the medication too. Third, Dependence and Addiction Drug dependence is the body's physical need or addic addiction to specific agent. There is or therefore virtually no difference between dependency and addiction. Over the long term, this dependence results in a physical harm, behavior problems, and association with people who also abuse drugs. Stopping the use of the drug can result in a specific withdrawal syndrome. Common examples are oral ingestion of alcohol and caffeine, content products, and inhalation or smoking of tobacco and cigarettes. There will always be danger for such misuse and abuse of medicine, and to educate your family and friends on misuse and abuse dangers will be of great help. So these are the potential dangers associated with medicines misuse and abuse. First, physical harm such as deafness due to antibiotic misuse. Hearing-related side effects from certain antibiotics, especially aminoglycosides such as tryptomycin and neomycin, are most common in people who have a kidney disease or or who already have ear or hearing problems. Hearing usually returns to normal after you stop taking the medicine. But some medicines can cause permanent damage to the inner ear. This results in permanent hearing loss even if you stop taking the medicines. Number 2 Psychological harm such as getting insane. Repeated use or high doses of stimulants can lead to feelings of hostility or paranoia. Overuse of depressant or taking too many sleeping pills can cause delirium and worsen the symptoms of dementia. It can also give a person the feelings of confusion, anxiety, and depression. Since we are done discussing about the potential effects of medicines misuse and abuse, here is your activity. Entitled, Take or Do Not Take the Medicine. Copy and answer each question honestly and independently on your paper. Number 1. You find pills on the counter. What should you do? Check your answer. Either take the pills, do not touch the pills, or tell your parent or guardian. Then explain why. Number two, you get a headache at your friend's house. Your friend's mother offers to give you medicine. What should you do? Just check your answer. Get your parent's permission first, or take the medicine. Explain why. Number three, you take some new medicine your doctor gave you. Then you get sleepy. What should you do? Just check your answer. Tell your parents about the side effect or lie down and go to sleep and explain why. Afterwards, explain this question. Why do you need to decide carefully whether to take or not? to take the medicine offered by someone you do not know well. You have entire week to answer. Good luck! You may now start. Thank you for listening, students. I am your teacher, Teacher Eileen, saying goodbye!